Come on. Come on. What's up everybody, Sam Cox here, FieldersTrainingSystems.com. We've got a very strong man here with me doing an interview with. <clears throat> World's Strongest Man competitor, IFSA champion, multiple strength records, Travis Ortmeyer. Alright Travis, tell us a little bit about your background. What got you uh, started in Strongman? Yeah, I got started in Strongman almost by mistake. Uh, a good friend of mine, Marshall White, uh, he's a pro now, he lives up in Washington, but we were training together for a couple of years, and you know, we were doing the powerlifting thing. And he'd always wanted to do World's Strongest Man. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, I knew what it was. Saw it on TV. I never thought, you know, there's no way in hell I'm going to be as strong as those guys. So, never thought about doing it. Uh, well, he found a contest in Texas. Mm -hmm. It was the Texas State Championships. It was north of Dallas, about five hours away. So, I said, hey, if you're going to do it, I'll go with you. You know, be support, help you with your uh, preparation, all that stuff. And uh, we got there doing the weigh-ins the night before, and I decided, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. Hmm. You know, we had done the tire flip out of this farm. Uh, the only other thing we'd ever messed with was a keg, just trying to press it. Uh, and ended up competing, I took fifth. Nice. It just uh, it came naturally to me. And when the bug bit, it bit hard, and I've never thought hmm. of anything since. Nice. So are you? would you say you're... Are you naturally strong, or just stronger than average? I don't know if I'm naturally strong. Mm -hmm. I've been lifting weights since I was like 12 years old, okay. so I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, I know what uh, that's like. As far as age for age with the other kids in my grade, I don't think I was ever the strongest. I was always among the, the top strongest mm -hmm. guys, but never the strongest. Okay. But I guess I just chipped away at it, kept going, and now I'm stronger than all of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, what would be your best piece of advice for aspiring world's strongest men? <clears throat> consistency mm -hmm. both in training and in diet uh, you can't work out hard for a year take six months off and then expect to come back and have the yeah. same results you know you just got to keep plugging away uh, and diet especially you got to eat right every single day otherwise you're just gonna have ups and downs and never get anywhere mm -hmm. okay so what uh, what kinds of things uh, do you eat uh, what's your diet consist of generally most of the time, I stick to the philosophy of you get out what you put in. You know, if you use high octane fuel, you get better performance. So, I go with uh, whole grain, you know, breads, uh, lean sources of protein, chicken, lean cuts of beef. Uh, one of my favorites now is chicken and rice, kind of stir fried. Yeah. It's easy to eat, goes down quick. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of milk. But one of my favorite snack foods. Is a DiGiorno pizza and a cream soda. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's good stuff. I need the extra calories sometimes. So, what kind of stuff do you do outside of strongman to kind of wind down? Well, off season, you know, the first thing I do after Worlds is I'm taking a break. Mm -hmm. First thing I say is, like, Jesus, I need a break. So, <laughs> uh, I spend more time doing outdoor stuff. Uh, if I can, there's not a whole lot of hiking in Texas, but you know, if I go somewhere, I love doing hiking. I love doing uh, water skiing. Mm, yeah. you know, anything on the water is one of my favorite things. Uh, I had a mountain bike, but then I got too heavy for it, so I need to get a new one because I like doing that. Uh, <laughs> one of my other favorite things, you know, if it's cold and crappy outside, is go to a shooting range. Oh yeah. Pop off a few rounds. Definitely. That'll relieve some stress. Definitely. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, tell me one thing that uh, people would never guess about you. You know, I've been asked this one before, and I, I thought about that question. And I think most of the time when you see a strong man or any kind of weightlifter, you think meathead. Mm -hmm. Not much going on up top. But, uh, I'd have to say what most people don't guess about me is I've got a 150 IQ. Yeah. I actually love classical music. That's yeah, my favorite thing coming home from workout is to put Vivaldi or Beethoven, something like that on. That's cool. That's good stuff. 
So is there is there one thing that you would say that had the biggest impact to get you where you are today? <clears throat> well, I'd say the biggest change in my life in regards to weightlifting was that day I decided to do Texas Strongest Man mm -hmm. with Marshall. But as far as something that motivated me originally to get into weightlifting, I couldn't pick a moment. I've always loved weights. Mm -hmm. I always loved big guys. I loved Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's my favorite action hero growing mm -hmm. up. And to this day, I still think he has a perfect bodybuilder's physique. Yeah. So I just have always been fascinated by strength. And you look around in here, and it's obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So just consistency, heavy weights. Yeah. Just, just biggest thing. Smart training, heavy weights, you know, day in, day out. It's uh, learn from your mistakes. Yeah. That's a big thing you need to remember is... If you get injured, remember why, right, right. and don't do it again. A lot of guys keep doing the same thing over and over, and they mm -hmm. keep getting injured over and over, and uh, it's kind of like, duh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you just want to smack the guys right. that do that, and mm -hmm. whatever. So, do you have a best and worst event that you train for? You know, constantly, specifically, specialize in it. Yeah, I've got a best event, obviously. Uh, I'd put stones right up there. Mm -hmm. I'd also put Viking press right up there, or uh, most kinds of deadlifts. As far as worst events go, I'd have to say maybe arm over arm truck pulls, mm -hmm. just because I don't train for it. Yeah. If I trained for it, it'd be different, but I just, I don't know why we'd never really train for that one. Uh, at first, it was yoke. Mm -hmm. I remember at Texas Strongest Man, I did a 650 yoke about 36 and a half feet and it <laughs> nice. crushed me I picked it up probably 8 or 9 times mm -hmm. no belt of course I was 225 I should have been a lightweight but didn't yeah. want to go with the heavies really just wanted to beat Marshall but anyway that yoke <laughs> crushed me and I mean it was probably 6 weeks I felt the impact of that yoke on my back so Ouch. I started training that and I'd say now it's probably one of my better events. Yeah. So if you have a bad event or a worst event, make it your favorite. Yeah. And just train the hell out of it. What's the uh, craziest thing you've ever seen or done in competition? Hey.